Hi everyone. I'm here at my store, La Unique Boutique. I'm behind the counter. Um, for shame. Um, it was a rainy day here in Minnesota. A very rainy day here in Minnesota. Um, I have my grand grandbaby in the back. So I'm sitting here just crocheting and I decide to share what I am crocheting with you guys. Today, let me give you the date. Today is um, August the 9th, Wednesday, August the 9th, and it is 5.32 in the evening, afternoon. So, doing my freestyle crocheting, right? So I decided... Uh, I made a cool mistake when I uh, usually make a chain of the amount of links that I want to create the infinity scarf from I usually will crochet like two rows and then connect it to make the round circle but this time I just did one row uh, hoping that I keep it straight usually I never keep it straight it's always crooked so this time I really, you know, uh, made sure that I was uh, keeping it straight, but it didn't. As I crocheted the second row, I realized that it was twisted and I wasn't going to take it down. I was just going to flow with that and see how it was going to turn out. Because sometimes when I make a mistake like that, it turns out really cool. It is a accent to the garment. Um, and makes it more appealing. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I'm going to show you. So, as I take a drink of water, I'm going to show you what I did. I'm, it's just the collar right now. The affinity scarf that I start out with. So, here it is. This is the top. And this is what happened if you don't, you know, like twist. But I made this cool, cool little design. So, it's going to be like a little opening here. So, this is... The, the make of it and it's going to be like a little opening here so i like it see i like the way the, the twist turn out and i always like to see little twists inside of a on a uh, sweater so that's going to be kind of cool i'm going to um steam it when i get down to making the front panel well, I'm, I'm going to start with the shoulders, right? So, I'm going to probably crochet as long as my shoulders. I ran out of yarn, so I'm going to go back. I got a dark color pink. I'm just using up all my scrap pink yarn. So, it's going to be a dark color pink. This is like a light, um, light pink, baby pink. So... What I'm going to do, I'm going to go in the back and grab the yarn really quick. So I'll be right back, okay? Uh, right back because it's in the back. So give me 10 seconds and I'll be right back, okay? I'm back. I have the yarn. So, this yarn I got from the thrift store. See? I only paid 99 cents for it. Uh, get this at a good wheel. Yeah. So, let me cut this off. I'm getting really low with my yarn. All I have is like my novelty yarn left. Almost now. So, and I don't buy yarn a lot of yarn and so I know that I'm starting another project and then I got my bucket full of undone I should not start a new project until I finish my bin of projects that I have not completed they're almost done but they need I might have ran out of yarn or whatever or the idea left me like sometimes it does Sometimes I start out with like a fantastic idea and all of a sudden I make the front panel and I don't know how I'm going to do the back panel. So I'm going to 
crochet this some more and I'll shoot this video out. I'll probably tomorrow when I come in because I don't have to work the next day I probably I don't know if I have to work I don't know if I'm on a schedule to work so I'm going to start uh, with the shoulder blade so I'm going to crochet um, that's the, that's the top. Oh, that could be the top and the bottom could be the black. Okay, yeah, that's the top. So I'm going to go as far as here. So I think I'm going to do 10. It's going to be like a large. I hope this is a large. So hopefully it'll be a large. So I'll do 10 chains on each side to start the shoulder blade going around the front panel. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm kind of guessing. I'm assuming. Okay. Um, it's a little further than I want. It kind of drapes off the shoulder, and I'm alright with that. So, in ten, it'll be easy for me to remember when I get to the other side, right? Very easy for me to remember. So, we'll see. And I want it to be kind of like a slouchy after I block it. Um, sweater so I'm going to I do a half double crochet because I actually love that's my favorite stitch it looks like knit to me and it make it more dense for you don't see through it unless I want to do something that I don't mind you seeing through it so I'm going to um, half double crochet going across so I get to the other side and I'll do 10 chains and I'll just go back and forward um, to make the front the, the back panel yeah the, the back panel I usually start with the front panel but I'm going to start with the back panel uh, so and then once I get that then I'll start with the sleeves um, it might be a pretty long uh, crochet sweater not long Maybe like um, almost to my hips. For me, it's not for me. It's gonna go online, and I might do another fall show with all my crochet stuff. Let's see how that go. I really don't like doing those shows, but I haven't done one in a while, so in a year or so. So uh, I'll do another one. It's time for me to do another one. I usually don't wait a whole year to do another one, but I am. So I want to complete this going across and I'm going to show you guys on a part 2 tutorial how uh, it looks the front panel when I finish the front panel okay so I'll talk to you soon God bless goodbye